FEC Summit in Scottsdale, Arizona at the Week of Paw Resort. And I'm super excited because uh, Mario and Kim Valdez from Conroe's Incredible Pizza are joining us for Think Tank Thursday. There we go. We have, a, we have an authentic <laughs> helicopter. Listen, you can't make that stuff up, right? Right? So if you couldn't come to FEC Summit, here, here we are in beautiful Scottsdale, Arizona with two of my dear, dear friends. And I'm really excited to um, do Think Tank. You know, the, the concept of Think Tank is we're so busy. And could we just stop for a minute to do some thinking? We've certainly had that advantage here at the summit. And um, I'm so delighted that you're going to take a little bit of time to talk to us about technology and staffing and some of the things going on at, at Incredible. Mara, what would you say just from a learning curve point of view, big changes or challenges over the last couple of years, big lessons? I mean, it, I, oh man, it's so well, I mean, it's, I'm kind of glad that it kind of happened because it made us be better operators. Yeah. It kind of really drill down on our operations as far as efficiency, you know, look back at our hours, how we operate, operating procedures, uh, creative scheduling. Oh. Um, which is uh, tell me tell me more about what you mean by that okay scheduling is hey do we really need this room open do we need this additional bus or, uh, or cashier doing hours uh that's why i say cutting the fat throughout the day um you know and making the uh making the managers really think about it as far as keeping the pulse on the labor and being efficient across the board and knowing when to shut down and when to open back up too yeah i think it's it made them sharper on their uh, decision making as far as just kind of walking the uh, walking the four walls and kind of getting the feel for it, we're busy. Hey, let's open up this room. Oh, it's starting to slap back down. Okay, let's, let's close our, it. Let's close it down and you know, use our busters. You know, use our busters to start closing it down before they take off and kind of uh, utilizing them better as far as their time management. That's uh, good. The day. Well, That's I mean, good. with that being said, scheduling our parties before we had plenty of staff that we could do an eleven o'clock party. And then leave the gap till four o'clock, and pray that something filled in. Now we don't offer that four o'clock. If we have an eleven o'clock, we're pushing for twelve thirty. Got the it. Party or one o'clock, so that there's less gaps in the day, so we make better use of our party hosts as well. So, what technology are you using to kind of manage all those booking systems and um, stuff? We use Simnox okay. for uh, booking and. Um, we we use them for POS and yeah we use games. I mean it's our all around you know, you're able to stuff. use it all through the the right. center now you made the Simnox change a couple of years ago right that's correct yes. okay yes. what have been the advantages or disadvantages challenges benefits well with Simnox I mean the game side of it I mean we had issue with our previous uh, gaming card system we were having a lot of issues with it server issues and stuff like that but instantaneous when we made that switch our game complaints our challenges. Gone. Oh, that's beautiful. Next to zero. Uh, our uh, our downtime when the server goes out or something like that, it's, it's non-existent anymore. Um, challenge size a little bit on the POS, but we were working through it, and that's the good thing about Simnox with us. I mean, any kind of changes we like to make, you know, they put it in their uh, their, um, their their yeah their support and uh, and help us develop a, a workaround or a fix around or. They say, hey, that's a great idea, and they'll put it on their next upgrade. Oh, um, wonderful. Their upgrade system. So, And the response is very quick. Yes. Yeah. Anytime we send a, a message to support, we get a response back. Somebody, several somebodies yeah. have acknowledged it within the first five or ten minutes. Wow. And, wow. And most of the time, it's solved in less than 24 hours. Okay. And depending but, on the severity, they'll, they, I mean, they'll kick it up a notch and take it to their, you know, their critical support team. Um, if it's a severe um, um, issue or whatnot, but uh, for the most part, they've been very uh, open and receptive and, and, and to feedback as well. That's great. So. That's great.